hey there everyone, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my wild backyard here in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. And I love to harvest botanicals and inspiration straight out of my yard for my bar soaps. In the spring and summer, there are so many wildflowers here, including wild roses. So I love to get a bunch of the buds, which I'm going to be putting on top of these soaps today. And of course, whatever I don't harvest after a little bit of time turn into these rose hips, which kind of look like cranberries. So I'm going to harvest some of these soon when they're a little more bright red to save for fall and winter soaps. Stay tuned for that. So today's soap is called Cozy and Rosy, and I got a little surprise near the end of the soap. So let's head into my kitchen right now, and I'll show you how I made it. I will never be able to pick a favorite soap scent, but there is nothing like an elegant floral soap, and this is no exception. Now, I did not buy rose essential oil for this rose soap because it is very expensive. However, a blend of other floral essential oils can have a very similar and pleasant effect. I will put all the details down in the description box as I always do, but this blend is about 40% and 40% palma rosa and lavender and then a little bit of geranium. Now I've also done rosewood essential oil and that is also very nice. But keep in mind all of these are florals. They do accelerate soap batter in case you did not know that. So I have to work very quickly and that is part of why I am soaping at a lower temperature today. My fats and lye were around 93 degrees. So that's a little lower than I normally do, but I still needed it to be that low because it still was accelerating for sure. Plus, there were some sugars in this soap batter between some local honey that I did, plus some colloidal oats, all the good stuff, and even some goat milk that I got from our friends in the valley. Goat milk, of course, has some sugars in it as well. So I didn't want that to scorch in the lye solution because if you were to do, do straight water or room temperature or even just like refrigerated, the lye solution can get up to like 180 degrees and I don't like waiting that long for it to cool down. Plus it would have scorched the goat milk, giving it a slightly off scent and color. So I always freeze my distilled water and my goat milk or cucumber juice or whatever it is that I'm working with, and that helps the lye solution not get too hot. So it works out great. So that is what I did. I did close to 50% goat milk for my liquid portion today of the lye solution. So I am just mixing this up. I split the batter between two pitchers. The lighter color is some French pink clay, and the more rose light color has some modder root powder and some rose hip powder in it. And the idea here is I wanted to do kind of a side pour. I've only done one other soap with a design similar to this and I thought it was super fun and wanted to do it again but it takes a little bit of coordination especially when it starts thickening up near the end like this. I did tap it down, but I don't know why I bothered because there were still some air bubbles. It is what it is. It still looks really cool, but I kind of had to fool around with the top of it. So here's kind of a side swoop that I did with the hanger that I think gave it an extra unique touch. I did a soap similar to this called Pactola Shores after our named after our reservoir locally here. And I think my title of my YouTube video is called Ocean Soap. So if you've never seen that one, it's probably one of the coolest looking soaps I've ever made. So I will put a link to that at the end and you should definitely check that one out after this. And let me know if you've ever tried anything similar or just what you think of it because I love to hear from all of you guys in the comments. So at this point, I'm kind of just fooling around with the top because it's very thick and I didn't really know how I wanted it to be at the end. And I was a little distracted because I was looking out the window. So I will show you some camera spans around our house of what is happening outside in just a second. Basically, we live at high enough elevation where the Black Hills are, plus the Black Hills are kind of just in the middle of like multiple weather fronts. So we always get like crazy unexpected weather, temperature extremes and fluctuations, and hail, of course. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna show you in a minute here. This is definitely not the biggest hail we've ever gotten. There was actually one time when there was like tennis ball size hail coming down on Pactola. And there was a girl out on an inner tube that actually got hit in the head with one. It was kind of crazy. We stopped on the side of the road. We had just finished a hike. 
for our anniversary. Um, we went and hiked the trail where my husband had proposed to me and we made it back to the car just as like these dark clouds were rolling in and it was Sturgis Rally Week. So tons of motorcyclists out everywhere. This is like early August. And then next thing you know, the hail just starts coming down. Um, that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> we stopped on the way home because I saw like a tennis ball size one on the side of the road and I like jumped out and grabbed it. So it's still in a bag in our freezer and we like to show it to friends when they come over just to show them what it's like out here sometimes. So that's just a kind of a crazy story, but thankfully nobody's gotten hurt and the garden has not suffered too extreme of damage besides my herb garden. Uh, it just really hasn't warmed up that much this summer and just very cool, very rainy. And so my herb garden is kind of just like a mud pit. So, oh well. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you the cutting of this soap here in just a second. And I hope you guys enjoy the song. I swim the ocean blue and walk from Everest round at Kathmandu for just one glimpse your smile The memory of your lips And the hope I'll feel your fingertips All from one glimmer of your smile I've given love a chance Dreamt of a true romance but nothing compares to being with you So whisper sweetly love And take me by the hand And hold me oh so close And you will understand Why I'd swim the ocean Walk from Everest round at Kathmandu And be happy every mile For just one glimmer of your smile out for several weeks so of course got to do a little picking right well thanks guys again for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one soon just for one glimmer of your smile